Hi guys. Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Crystal. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, as you may notice, I'm red in the face. Um, haven't been feeling too great since I had that Costa coffee. Uh, I don't know when that was a couple of days ago. Um, I'm not blaming it on that. Could be the weather, could be the cold weather. Um, so, I woke up this morning feeling drained and tired and a bit faint and dizzy. Um, I managed to get out this morning with Max and go for a walk. There's a few people about, mainly men. Um, so, I'm here in my flat this afternoon. Um, I'm not going out at the usual time. As you can hear, there's some noise going outside. Um, so, I'm just uh, resting and waiting to go out a bit later on. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 1.27 p.m. Sounds like a load of kids to me. Um, so, I don't go out at this time anyway. It's after two o'clock I go out. So I thought, right, I've drunk a bottle of this. Innocent berry, set go, raspberry, cherry apple, goji, guarana and vitamins. Been a bit out of breath as well. I've got to change my diet. It's bad. Um, I keep eating uh, crisps. They're not good for you. So I'm going to try and wash my system out. I've just drunk the whole bottle of that. And I'm going to drink water and flush whatever it is out. It is my diet. It's, it's not good. So we have tuna. We do. Yeah, but you know, Sweets and crisps are tempting, aren't they? They taste nice. A lot of good food doesn't look attractive and it doesn't taste all that nice. Like tomato to me doesn't taste nice. So basically, I've got to change my diet um, because that's what it can be making you tired and sluggish. So, um, Nothing really happened uh, since the Sainsbury's delivery this morning and going out, doing a video, trying to enjoy my day. Um, it's very quiet. It's very peaceful. And I I'm, I'm really can't complain about anything. Um, I don't want to either. Um, so, yeah, I got up. What I normally do is I upload a video to YouTube before I actually go out in the morning. So I uploaded a video to YouTube, then I went to the co-op while it was uploading and then I came back and I'd already downloaded the Sainsbury's delivery last night but I didn't get it last night, I saved it for today because I wanted some hot dogs for those large sausages and as I said when you go into the co-op sometimes first thing in the morning all the stock's gone from the night before and it doesn't look appealing so i went in there getting things that i would would normally get and a couple of that chicken and, and um, garlic look nice as well those slices um i don't know why i feel sluggish and dizzy and disorientated i don't like feeling like it also feeling very sleepy, like I could go to sleep. I know the night before yesterday I didn't sleep at all. I was awake all night. Maybe it's catching up on me. I don't know. <sighs> um, so I came back from the walk, did, did a couple of TikToks. Um, I ate a bagel with some of that chicken meat in it I got from the co-op. And um, I uh, thought I need to wake myself up, otherwise I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, the only other occasion I felt like this was when I, when I had amitriptyline. Amitriptyline is a pain relieving drug. Uh, my dad used to take it and I nearly went to sleep for three days after taking amitriptyline. 
I'm a triplane. My dad used to take it. He had heart trouble. Well, I was giving it for pain relief uh, for my jaw and face and I couldn't get on with it because I went to sleep for literally nearly three days after taking it. Um, I was given far too much, a high dosage, and, I, and it was only because I was speaking to my son on the phone. I said, I said, I feel tired. I can't wake up. He said, go out and get some Lucozade. He said, drink a load of Lucozade and water and get hydrated. And, and I got myself out, out, out of it and I stopped taking amitriptyline. Um, I'd have gone to sleep and never woken up. It was a too high dose the doctor had given me. I had a higher dose than my father had. Um, sometimes it, it, it's supposed to, well, it does, it makes you go to sleep. You don't feel pain because you're asleep all day. So I got off that. That's how I felt like when I came back from the walk. I felt like I was going to fall asleep. It's not like me because I'm a very energetic person and before I'd gone out I was I was dancing in the corridor there and when I get back from the walk I'm almost falling asleep I don't know what went on so I decided right to go and have a bath now it's a combined bath and shower so I like to wash my hair with the shower but have a bath so I had a bath <coughs> then I washed my hair in the shower and I go, go red I go red like a beetroot and I don't like it it's ever since I've had uh, uh, blood transfusion and iron infusions I, I go red like a beetroot top to bottom when I have a bath and I feel like I'm going to explode Um, so it takes a while to wear off. I have to open all the windows, put the cold air fan on in the winter. <coughs> After I've had iron infusions, because they said I was low on iron in my body. I also had to have a blood transfusion because I lost a lot of blood. Through women's periods, now I don't have one. I shouldn't be feeling tired. Should I? I'm going through the menopause so I don't have periods anymore. So they made the excuse that the tiredness was due to the periods, but I don't have periods anymore. So it's not that, is it? Keep feeling tired and exhausted after doing very little and almost fainting in the bath which I nearly did. Um, so I've just come out of the bath, come shower. I'm drinking water. I feel very, very, very hot. I feel very, very, very unsteady on my feet. And I feel very, very tired. And I'm not bleeding. So it's not lack of iron, is it? Um, <laughs> putting it down to poor diet. So we're going to change our diet and see how that goes. I'm going to start eating tuna, uh, more meat and uh, yogurts and start having breakfast, which is full of vitamin D and folic acid and minerals. So we'll try that. And if not, we go back to the doctors again. That's all I can do. So, yes, um, I uh, follow Brian Harvey. Um, I used to like E17 and take that as well all around that area era 90s and a, a while back I noticed uh, on the TV that Brian Harvey was on the television I think it was way back in 2013 um, protesting at London and I thought wow that's the guy in E17 why is he on benefits he should he should be in a, in a, in at least a big house uh, making money, why is he on benefits? So I started following him on YouTube in 2000 and uh, I think it was 18, 19 and I was living at Lansdowne Court at the time I've moved since then and um, 
came across a character called Pai Zygo, who is Aaron Waddington. In fact, his first name is David, or it's Aaron David Cesare Waddington. And basically, this guy, I followed him. He kept um, going on at Brian Harvey to pull himself out of himself and he, he, he kept attacking Brian Harvey but I liked him because uh, he had a great um, channel and he sang because I like a lot of rock music so that's what attracted me to the channel was actually the rock music and um, I clicked on his channel um, we're going to call him Pi Zygo. Clicked on his channel, started following him as well as Brian Harvey, and I just commented on Pi Zygo's videos that he was a good singer and I liked him. To start with, Pi Zygo was nice to me and he liked my comments and he was being nice. Um, then he suddenly changed. He went funny. I don't know whether that's due to his mental disability because I think he's got autism and mental health problems himself. And he started upsetting me every weekend. He would rip my video, a bit like what Mr. Booby Doo is doing. If you look up Mr. B B Doo, I think it's B E B E E. B O O and D Double O. Pies I got used to take unflattering pictures of me, close up, like screenshotting my video, like with my mouth open or something. And he he would say derogatory things about myself in his videos, and it would literally upset me. I'm a sensitive, kind, nice pe person. I care about people, and I try and help them. He'd said in a video that he had no friends and that he didn't get any Christmas cards. So I sent Paisago a Christmas card because he, and Brian Harvey does it as well, displayed their addresses all over the internet. And, right, I'm a nice person, I ain't a troll. I sent Paisago in Australia a Christmas card. And a few days later... He did a video and he called me a T-U-R-D. I don't like that word. I don't like it. Um, a turd is black. A turd smells. It stinks. And I don't like it. Um, a lot of people sympathise with myself. And back at my flat at Lansdowne Court, people sent me pages of sympathetic letters about what Pies I go had done to me that it was disgusting and awful and um, I locked myself indoors for three days and I felt suicidal and my son banged on the front door banged on it and said mum you've got to get out of your flat you've got to get out of your flat and he took me for a coffee in Greg's and um, I explained to my son what had happened and he said, look, he's only got a few views. Why are you worried about him anyway for? And he got me back on my feet. Um, I had to go to the doctors because I was afraid to go outside. Um, I think Turd, is a, he was being racist. Pies I got was being racist. He was dressing up as a black man. And I was getting pushed around in Chatham High Street by people and getting a load of trouble. Um, the doctor told me to go to the police, go to Interpol, uh, tell, tell them to contact Interpol and stop this character doing what he's doing, get him sorted out in Australia. Um, he disappeared off YouTube. I don't agree with being racist. It's wrong. Anyone that's racist should be taken off YouTube. Anyone that makes threats to someone's life should be taken off YouTube. I, you know, he shouldn't have done what he did. It's disgusting. 
he accused me of something I didn't do. He was obviously clearly mentally unwell because, you know, I didn't do the things he accused me of. He also made comments and he did threaten me. I took it as a death threat, so I went to the police. I'm now taking depression tablets because of this character who I believe is still in the background being a nuisance and, and he shouldn't, you know, I've got nothing to do with the guy now. Someone that's like that you don't get involved with so I've just cut all, I don't have anything to do with the guy anymore but obviously I think he's working in the background because Brian Harvey got a card, a Christmas card with turd on it and that's definitely pie's eye go. It is because he uses that word, he used it to me, turd, T-U-R-D. Now he's obviously harassing Brian Harvey. Brian Harvey looks really, really ill and stressed out. And whatever you feel about somebody, you shouldn't drive them uh, to despair. Um, I also had a notification that Paula Mann had um, uploaded a video and he is now exposing Brian Harvey's girlfriend, Nikki Lee. Um, I've never met Nikki. Um, I've seen her on video. She just looks like a normal woman that's had a past like everybody else. I mean, everybody's done things that they don't like, but you don't bring up people's dirty laundry, do you? Um, so... Paula Mann is posting things about Nikki Lee and she must feel bad, you know, well, that she's a whore and, a, and whatever. I've never met Nikki Lee, I've never met Brian. Um, I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, but Brian Harvey is going through something similar to what I went through back at my old flat. They were sending really derogatory posts to me. I went to the doctors. They told me to give it to the police. And she said, if they don't do anything with it, sit there till they do or can make a complaint. I mean, if someone's calling your girlfriend a whore, that's not nice, is it? And going back into people's past, what has happened is, and I'll be blatantly honest here, is that Brian Harvey ha has, went, you know, he's got problems. He suffers from depression. He suffers from bipolar. He, I'm not making any excuses. I'm just stating the facts. And basically, he says things. I do in my flat. When I get cross, when someone's horrible to me, I say awful things. I don't mean it doesn't mean I'm going to do it and obviously he's upset somebody or he's upset more than one person and they are attacking him but what has Nikki Lee done what's Nikki, Nikki Lee done you see when someone hates you they drag all your family and your girlfriend or boyfriend into it now poor Nikki Lee you know what has she done She's helping Brian Harvey. She's his partner. I know what Pies I got did to me, and he was saying goddamn awful things about me, right? And I'm not like that at all. Just because I sent him a Christmas card. Just watched a bit of Paula Mann's video. I'm just going to get off and watch the rest of it. Um, why do people bring other people's family and partners into things and try to destroy, to destroy that as well? Obviously, Nikki Lee is going to protect Brian because he's her partner. <laughs> I would do the same. Um... I've watched Paula Mann's videos and he's been abused as a child himself. So he must know that when you hurt somebody, it's not nice, you know. You don't go around abusing other people because you've been abused. I'm trying to be understanding here. 
right? I've been abused myself. And when you are trolling somebody, when you are continuing attacking somebody, you're behaving just as bad, right? Just leave it alone. Put it down to the guy who's got mental health problems. He didn't mean what he said and just move on. Because death threats and intense bullying is harmful. Brian Harvey does look ill. He looks very ill. He looks like an old man. He isn't. He's trying to help. Maybe he's gone about it in the wrong way. And I think he's trying, trying to make himself better. He's laying off the weed and he's trying to, to, to talk rationally without shouting and getting his point across. We get, he's getting his point across without shouting and swearing. But I know, because I've suffered it from it myself, someone upsets me, I've started shouting and getting into trouble and it's the wrong way to go about it. He's got no kitchen, right? He's got mental health problems. He just needs help. He doesn't need hate, right? And I'm sure Brian that doesn't mean the things he says, you know. Someone said to me, they hope my mother died of AIDS in 2000 and I think it was two or three and I a bit like Brian Harvey I got upset and I started trying to find out who this idiot was that wanted my mum to die of AIDS and it drove me round and round in circles tied me in knots and I made a mess of my life they're not worth it Just leave, I've, I've said it in a previous video, leave each other alone. Brian's trying to get on with his life and he's obviously made mistakes and I'm sure he realises that. And just, you know, Nicky is a separate issue. Why drag his girlfriend into it? You know, I would stick up, if I had a boyfriend and someone was attacking my boyfriend, I'm going to stick up for them. Because that's what you do. And now it's being plastered everywhere that Nikki Lee is a whore, she's a slag. And they're getting a hold of old magazines and photographs, dragging his girlfriend into it. Trying to destroy him. But uh, Pai Sai Goat nearly drove me to suicide. He nearly did. Nearly, nearly, nearly did. See you later.